Introducing Apple Vision Pro. The era of spatial computing is here. In this video, we'll use our imagination to discuss how Apple's Vision Pros could advance the world of 3D printing from four different perspectives, training, build, and repair, design and simulation, 3D scanning, and immersive print monitoring. Considering the Vision Pros in their current state, some of these ideas might not be directly feasible. Unfortunately, the closest thing I have to the actual Vision Pros is this 3D printed set that I made for the sake of the thumbnail. What this video isn't is a technical breakdown and summary of what eVision Pros can do. If you're looking for a video that is that, I'd highly recommend watching Cleo's video. She collaborates with Marquez Brownlee. They demo the Vision Pros and make them look so cool. There's a clip where her and Marquez are looking at a race car and they're able to actually lift the hood of the car and look at the engine inside. It looks like there's a Formula One car in front of me. It looks like you're gesturing at an actual car. This is the engine and then I can actually take the cover off of the engine. So now the aerodynamics are moving over the top of the car. <laughs> How sick is that? And what this made me think about is instead of a car, imagine a 3D printer where you could be on call with a training or service technician, especially when you bought a new machine, particularly in industry where they're fairly more complex. And instead of having the expert come in and pay for their travel expenses, you're able to use the VR headset and call with them way more immersively than, you know, a FaceTime. Training and learning doesn't just have to be in real time either. Like the formula car, there could be importable learning modules of different printers. Also, imagine building or troubleshooting something while wearing these. You could conveniently watch a YouTube tutorial or Google things when you're stuck. Kind of like this video, but of course with a 3D printer instead. One point Cleo mentions that really stuck with me is that these Vision Pros are currently the closest thing humans have to teleportation, or at least in the digital sense. Realism matters to us in our primate brains. And some of this feels very real. Some of it feels totally silly. You can now bring objects, digital objects, into the room with you, and they do feel shockingly real. All right, let's talk design and simulation, our second perspective. So when you're making something, it usually goes through an iterative process. Right, you start with the 3D model, you print it, you test fit it, see where it doesn't work perfectly, go back to the 3D model, fix it, print again, test again, keep going until you have a part that fits to what you need. Imagine being able to 3D model in virtual reality, but now the fact that the Vision Pros blend seamlessly with the real world, you're able to 3D model while also seeing through them and measure in 3D space using the LiDAR sensor and create a perfect part the first time. When I was in AI club during my undergrad, that was a project I proposed for a design competition, basically virtual reality CAD, but with hand gestures. Basically, the Vision Pros would let you do that because already there's multiple hand gestures you can use to control the virtual GUI. Well, just imagine 3D modeling with those and an extension of that, FEA simulations. But to be able to do an FEA simulation, you should also really understand your end use application, which the Vision Pros could really lend themselves useful, fully immerse yourself in where the part will be used and kind of study that environment. I think that kind of virtual reality could make us better designers, being able to understand what kind of material might be needed, where loads or forces might get applied, among the many other things we consider when designing a part for 3D printing. Take the scene in Cleo's video where she's in the room with a dinosaur, but instead you're able to view the inside of a human body where a titanium printed implant would be put, or the inside of an automotive assembly where a custom gasket is needed. 
needed. When I mentioned potentially using the Vision Pros in the 3D printing world, your mind probably immediately went to 3D scanning. We do know that the Vision Pros feature a LiDAR sensor, which could lend itself useful. So I did stumble across a Reddit post where someone bought the Vision Pros specifically to 3D scan and they didn't work for that. So that brings me to the disclaimer of this video. These are all just ideas on how this VR headset could potentially be used. I understand that in its current state, it might not actually be capable of doing these things. Let's keep in mind that the headset wasn't specifically built for 3D scanning, although it can take 3D photos and videos. It might not have a tool that's able to stitch them all together to create a usable 3D mesh or part. An app might need to be developed to do this that works with the chips in the headset, etc. I'm not entirely sure of the steps needed to take to get to my final idea. We're halfway there. Also, it could be an improvement in the future for VR headsets by Apple or other companies. The headset itself features a sensor array which collects so much data that of course the processors on the device need to be powerful. I'm not sure what the standpoint would be trying to run an FEA simulation on those processors on top of all the visual data. Last but not least, this VR headset would be super cool for immersive print monitoring. As you've seen in any of the demo videos, you can open Safari tabs through your Vision Pros and have them move around based on your surroundings. Now, if your printer is wireless or you've hooked up OctoPrint, you'd be able to type in the IP address in your Safari browser and monitor your print in real time using the Vision Pros. If you're able to directly open the camera feed, you could pretty much watch your print as if you were sitting inside of your machine. Zoom in, check out the first layer, how the print's going. Pick any of the ones you want and I'll go to the same place. We'll see the same thing. There's a little button on the top of the device and you just spin it and now I'm more fully immersed. So now it's 360. However, as a hobbyist, realistically, I cannot see this device in my price range. Although it is a very eye-opening and impressive, as well as mildly concerning piece of technology. I can see this headset being useful in industry and in education. I mean, industry has already been trying to integrate virtual reality within assembly lines, especially when imagining how the assembly line will be built in a warehouse space, or even in training assembly line workers. If this video sparked any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe for more in the very near future. I'll catch you in the next one. Also, I don't know about you, but every time someone films like a sit down one on one with a camera shot, I subconsciously keep track of how many times they blink. Every time I've tried to film clips like this, I make intense eye contact with the camera or no eye contact at all. But it's not just me noticing when people blink when they're one on one with the camera. I feel like that's just me.